Cancers, welcome to Universal Guidance Tarot. It's time for your weekly reading. I'm going to shuffle these cards very well. If any fly out, fall out, flip over, I'm putting them back in the deck until I switch up my shuffle to allow the cards to come out. This is a two-part reading. The overall energy of this reading will be the middle card in the first part of the reading. It's also a general reading, so it won't resonate with everybody. You can take from the reading what does resonate, or you can think about a private reading. I do private readings. If you just shoot me an email, we can get started. So, cancers. What can you expect coming up in your life for cancers? shuffle here we go for our cancers please universe give me the cards i need for cancers reading for your weekly reading Ooh. Let's see what we have here. So I put the cards down in the same order that they come out of the deck. Wow. The overall energy, the Page of Swords. Hmm. Kind of paying attention to a lot, being a little on guard here. Okay, so we have a few cards left for the second part of the reading. So, Cancers. The overall energy is the Page of Swords. Got your sword out. You're not swinging it. You're just, if you have to, you will. But you're just searching for truth and clarity. And uh, so you're just very in tune with, with what's being said, what's being done around you. Um, just kind of on guard, uh, just being cautious, okay? I have the Six of Swords up in your highest energy. The Six of Swords, you are moving forward. You're moving forward slowly. Uh, not the slowest energy in the, in the deck, but you are moving forward. Away from dark skies, you're picking up Swords of Truth and Clarity, because you have the Page of Swords right here. And as you pick up those swords, you're getting closer to the light. And that's where you want to go. You want to go into the light. Um, you're pushing the boat with a pole. And that takes a little bit of effort and time. So these are the two strongest energies in your entire reading. Right next to the Six of Swords, I have Temperance. Your guardian angels and spirit guides are all around you. They're mixing that potion back and forth. And what they're doing is they're trying to help you be tempered. So they're trying to help you be balanced, grounded, and patient. So they do their job very well. And there's always a reason when your guardian angels and spirit guides step in. So they are here and they're all around you. You know, they're helping you to move into the light where the sun is just shining. And I mean, this, there's a lot of love, there's a lot of joy, and this is fresh starts and new beginnings. So, you are heading towards a beautiful place in your life. Um, they are helping you to kind of be calm, you know, take your time, be patient, you're getting there, okay? I have the Six of Wands, under the Six of Swords. This is the card for success and love. Guess what's over there in that light? Success and love. All those wands coming up in the background are people who are celebrating your success in life and love. And the wreath, that can, that can uh, signify engagement. 
I don't know why I'm stuttering today. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I do that sometimes. So um, next to the Six of Wands, of course, is that overall energy of the Page of Swords. So you're being careful and moving forward. You're definitely uh, looking at the truth and clarity of things. I have the Devil next to the Page of Swords, and this is probably why, is you have had some toxic energy around you. Um, Three is a crowd. You might may have been involved in a third party at one time a relationship or some kind of uh, addiction with someone. But um, this is why you're on guard. You want to make sure before you get too far into a relationship that is going to turn out beautiful, but do take your time, okay? Um, but you want to make sure there's the toxic energy it doesn't exist there. Uh, it's also the card for Capricorn. So Capricorn might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. I do have the star under the Six of Wands. There's a lot of healing that you're going through. Take your time. So Temperance is here, and they're saying, take your time, finish your healing, very deep spiritual healing, right down to your bare bones, remembering what you want, remembering what you don't want. It's next to the Two of Cups, and the Two of Cups is under the Page of Swords. So you're, this is a soulmate card, friends first, then love. Um, but this could be who is coming in or whoever, or who you're healing from. I, I get more of a feeling this is who you're healing from. It was a soulmate and, um, they might've treated this relationship as a friends with benefits because it goes so well with the devil and it's on the other side of the page of swords. So it feels like this is what you're on guard about. You don't want any more of those types of relationships. I think you want something much more solid much more joyful. I think you're trying to find the joy in life. I have the Queen of Swords next to the Two of Cups and under the Devil. So again, we have swords on both sides of those cards. So the Queen of Swords is Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that might be strong in your chart or someone else's. But this is you, and you're speaking your truth, and you're asking for truth as you move forward. That's what's getting you to the bright side here where you want to be, away from this toxic, away from the healing, getting finished with your healing. Let's take out the rest of the cards that we need for Cancer's reading, please, universe. Wow, they just came out. Okay. You have a much better soulmate. Or they're the same one. No, I think they're a different one. I have the high priestess next to the sun. See the moon? There's the moon trying to enlighten you. They're saying, follow your heart, your gut. Follow your instincts. Follow your intuition. You have a lot of answers and truth right within you that you can pick up and put in your back in your backpack so that you can get further across that water towards that light. So trust and believe in yourself. Trust your feelings, your gut feelings about moving into this place of the sun. I have the Ace of Pentacles right next to the High Priestess. There's, a, there's an offer coming in. Uh, this is an offer of commitment, security, stability. Whoa. There's an offer coming in and a fresh start and new beginning coming your way. This is where the light is, but take your time getting there. Okay, follow, follow your instincts. Follow your intuition to find the answers on getting there. I have the Empress under the High Priestess and next to the Devil. This is a card for Libra or Taurus. One of those might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. But this is your energy. Uh, you're a very kind and uh, loving, thoughtful, respectful, courteous. Uh, just have so many beautiful qualities about you. You might, If you're a parent, you're a good parent. So whoever you move forward with, and I think this is, you know, kind of follow your instincts to know that it's not a toxic energy. They have to have a lot of these same qualities. So when you're, you got your sword out, you're asking your questions as you move forward. Someone comes into your life, and I can see someone coming in. 
Uh, ask the questions. Make sure they're the right person for you to move forward with. I have the Five of Pentacles next to the Empress and under the Ace of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles you were left out in the cold before. I think by this Two of Cups energy, I think this is what you're healing from. I think you're either ghosted or just left alone or feeling abandoned or rejected. It, it's just a low feeling. You might have even waited for them to call you or return uh, for some time. But in the meantime, you're doing your healing. I have the lovers next to the Five of Pentacles and under the Ace of Wands. There is a soulmate coming in. This is the card for Gemini, by the way. So Gemini might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. This is a strong uh, soulmate relationship here. Very strong. And it's going to be like when you look into each other's eyes, just like in this card, you're both going to know it. You're both, and, and they're coming in. That's your fresh start and your new beginning away from this Five of Pentacles. And this is where this huge offer will eventually come in. I have the Nine of Pentacles under the Empress and next to the Queen of Swords. You need to know if they just want to play games. Or do they just want to be single and, you know, not commit and hold on to all their pentacles? You're good at being single. You, you have your own. You are grounded. But you need to know if they are. That's part of the questions you need to ask here. I have the Hermit right next to the Nine of Pentacles and under the Five of Pentacles. This is the card for Virgo. So Virgo might be strong in your chart or someone else's. But the Hermit, this is your time that you're spending alone. So you're doing a lot of healing, but you're also seeking your path forward. Like, which way should you go? Follow your intuition. That's a very strong card, that High Priestess. And be patient with yourself, okay? Um... Just follow follow your instincts. Stay grounded while you do it. Uh, the hermit is... Um, I look around the hermit, okay? Um, they do know that you're in a low place. If, if this is your reading, you're kind of in a low place. But there's a lot of hope. There's hope all over the place in this reading. And um, you're very good at being you. And um, the Queen of Pentacles is on the other side. So this is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. All the kings and queens are very mature in their thinking, and all the cards are male or female. This Queen of Pentacles, this is you. You have a pentacle. Yeah, you can offer it. You want, you want uh, an exchange, though. You want someone to offer theirs, too. So you cherish this pentacle. Cherish what you have. This is, this is what it's saying. Just hang on to your pentacle until the timing is right. This is right under the lovers. And you will eventually be able to share that pentacle. Because there is somebody coming in. And it's going to be like, when you make eye contact, you're both going to feel that connection. It's going to be that strong. Wow. Cancers. You, you have a, such a bright place that you're entering in your life. Things are really changing. Uh, it's because you're taking charge. You've got your sword out. And you're asking the questions. You're healing from a past relationship. So um, you're definitely moving into a more uh, a beautiful, fresh start. And you're beginning here this and there is someone coming in. If this is your reading, because this is general, remember. Nope, there are two of them. Can't take two or three, whatever it was. I'm taking out a message from your guardian angels and spirit guides. They have a message it may not or may not, may or may not have to do with this reading. Cancer, I apologize. Well, I don't know why I'm stuttering today. I do have an autoimmune issue, and that might be why I'm having trouble in talking today. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It might just be I'm getting old. <laughs> so let's find out what they have for you. Your guardian angels and your spirit guides for Cancer's reading. is it? It's way up there. It's card number three. 
and it says creativity and abundance. I will read it to you. Dear one, you're being called to action. Action, take action. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come into the fullness of who you are. You're the empress, male or female. It's time for great creativity, giving birth to beloved projects or becoming a parent. That could be the empress too. Follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest for you. So you're feeling low. What are you passionate about? Follow it. You know, if you, if you like doing artwork, do artwork. If you like gardening, do garden. If you like hiking, go hiking. Whatever you like, um, do it. And that's going to help attract uh, prosperity and abundance into your life. Wow. That's what they're saying. So, Cancers, this is your reading. Thank you for watching Universal Guidance Tarot. I want to thank my guardian angels and my spirit guides for helping me deliver you this message.